heart knees are nice and soft, everything's nicely lined up, toxic's driving towards the floor, or you can feel like it's got weight on it, it's been drawn towards the floor. You want to feel almost like you've got a string attached to the floor that's pulling you in towards the floor, and a string attached towards the ceiling, pulling you up towards the ceiling. So we've got a nice string through your whole system. We are going to stretch our hands out towards the side, palm face forwards, and we're going to rotate them from the wrists, so we're creating space in our shoulder. We're rotating them around into our first position. Now, the arms are a little bit a little bit complicated to start with, but once you've done it a million times tonight, it'll be easy. So as we inhale, we're going to move our hands up into third position. Then as we exhale, we're going to open our hands into an open V, and then we're going to bring them down to shoulder height and turn them around so your palms face behind you. And then we're going to bring them down into our first position, ready to inhale again. So let's try, let's try that, just, just try that. So what we're doing is we're coming up, we're opening, and then we're increasing the stretch by twisting and bring them down. So we should feel almost like our arms get longer as we go through. And then when we do our apnea breath, you, you've, you've guessed, we're going to repeat the same pattern. Up, open, down, twist, back to the start. So we're doing three breaths and an apnea breath there, just once through. Then we're going to come straight into Freya, which is our forward step position, or forward lean position. So we're going to inhale, and as we exhale, we're going to come forward to the left foot first. Now, a couple of things to think about here as we're doing these Freya poses. And these are just to bear in mind the whole time you're doing them. You want to make sure that your pelvis is always pointing straight ahead. In fact, you've got car headlights here, straight ahead. Your shoulders are pointing straight ahead. You want to make sure that your back knee is slightly soft. So it's not bent, it's just soft. So this is to stop us from moving around towards the side like this. The next thing I'd like you to think about, so this is the last thing for now, I want you to think there's too many cues on it. We want to make sure our, that our rib cage is lined up with our pelvis. So we've got rib cage and pelvis nicely lined up as well. All good? That'll do for cues just now, and then we can always go back and revisit this another time and go through some extra cues. <laughs> Let's do any. So we come forward into our prayer position. And we're going to do this one. So we're going to do three nice slow breaths. And um, oh, and we're, our hands are going to be out towards the side. We're going to rotate, uh, we're going to keep them palm face forwards. We're going to do three nice slow breaths here just now, just as we warm up. So take your three deep slow breaths just in your own time for this warm up. Each time you inhale, I would like you to think about your hands stretching away from you, your heels stretching away from you, your head stretching away from you. And each time you exhale, I'd like you to think about increasing that length. Yeah. And then when you come to do your apnea, you're going to turn your hands around so your palms face behind you, and you're going to bring your thumb to your middle finger and you're going to flex your wrist backwards. Good. So it's like we made a wee bird sound. Nice. Excellent. And once you've done that, we're going to do the other side. So same thing on the other side. We're taking a little step forward with our right foot the second time. Little bands point forward with slightly different arms. So we're going to come up into our arm position. I'll talk us forward into it. Palms face forwards. You're going to do three nice slow breaths here just now. And then, oops, all these cameras gone up towards the sky. And then you're going to do three nice slow breaths and then your apnea. And then when you do your apnea, you're going to just extend your wrists backwards. Good, so it's palm could be facing away from your body. Okay, so let's do it. Palms face forward, lengthen. Three nice slow breaths here to start. And then your apnea. Take your time in your own time again. I'll be doing loads of counting in a minute. Yes. And you want to stay in. You want to still remember you're stretching from your heels all the way up through to the crown of your head. Same as in every other pose. Good. And then when you do your apnea, extend your wrist backwards. Good. Nice. And shake it off when you're ready. Now, nice hold. Good hold, Claire. Um, good hold. So we are going to do the third pose that we're going to be mixing and matching. And this is our Tamus pose. So we're going to come into our Artemis pose, which is our hip hinge. Now from here, we're going to do something weird. Of course we are. We're going to do three nice slow breaths. I'll count you for this one and talk you into it. On the apnea breath, we're going to curl our neck and we're going to curl our thoracic spine, but we're not going to curl our lumbar spine. And during the same apnea, we're going to come back to our neutral position. So we're coming, curl our, curl up. It's as if we've got a little ball under here. We're curling our head around the ball, lengthening our spine, and then curling up the rest of the spine, and then coming back to neutral. So we're just getting the movement in this upper portion of our back and our neck. Everything else is going to stay nice and still. Okay. 
let's do it. Let's try one and see how it is. And then you can get, say, Abby, I hate it or whatever. So a little hip hinge forward. We're going to do, let's do three and six for these ones. So balance point forward onto the balls of your feet. You want to feel like you're lengthening from your heels all the way up through to the crown of your head, as if you're trying to push your head against a wall opposite. Three nice slow breaths, ready to inhale. In, two, three, out, two, four, th three, four, five, six. In, two, three, out, two, three, four, five, six. In, two, three, out, two, three, four, five, six. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Open your ribs. Now, as you open your ribs, you're curling that neck around that ball, curling your thoracic spine around that ball. And now you're gonna come back to neutral, flattening the thoracic spine, flattening your neck into neutral. Good, they don't look too bad. Well done. Good. Okay, so we're going to make some magic all together. We're going to start with the standing pose once through with his arms. Then we're going to come straight into our Freya. And then we're going to come straight into our hip hinge. The first time we do it, we're doing two and four breath. Second time would be three and six, which I'm going to miscount. And the first one, third and two or five. Okay, so we're starting. Arms, we're doing three times through the routine. Little balance point forward. Feel like you're opening towards the side. Elbows are nudging towards the side. Armpits drawn towards your hips, coccyx floor, head to ceiling. Feel the length in your body. Ready to start moving these arms, yeah? Ready to inhale. In, two, out, three, four. I've got to do it again. Okay, so again, so my counting, shocking. Ready to inhale again. Let's start again. Ready to inhale. In, two, out. Two, three, four. In, two, out. Two, three, four. In, two, out. Two, three, four. Close your mouth and nose. Pause. Open your ribs and open your hands for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, and then we're going to step forward. So our next one is stepping forward. So stepping forward with our left leg. Ready to inhale. In, two, out, two, three, four. In, two, out, two, three, four. In, two, arms to a T, two, three, four. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Open your ribs, twist your hands round into your flex position for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale here, exhale, step back. Time to go with our hands to the front again. We'll get the hang of this by the end. Ready to inhale here. In, two, out, two, three, four. In, two, out, two, three, four. In, two, out, two, three, four. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Open your ribs and move your hands for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right leg forward, in, two, step forward, out, two, three, four, in, two, little lean forward, two, three, four, in, two, out, T position, two, three, four. Close your mouth and nose. Pause, open your ribs and extend your wrists for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Step back in, two, forward fold, out, two, three, four, in, two, out, two, three, four, in, two, out, two, three, four. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Open your ribs and curl your neck and your thoracic. And for eight, seven, six, five, back to neutral. Three, two, one. Inhale here, exhale, unhinge. Woo, well done, guys. So it's really fast when you do two, four breathing. Three and six breathing this time. So let's see if it feels much calmer and experience. So little balance point forward. Internally rotate these arms. Feel your posture and your length in your body. Ready to inhale. In, 
two, three, out, two, three, four, five, six, in, two, three, out, two, three, four, five, six, in, two, three, out, two, three, four, five, six. Switch off your breath, pause, open your wrists for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, step forward to the left, out, two, three, four, five, six, in, two, three, focus on left, two, three, four, five, six, in, two, three, thirteen, two, three, four, five, six, switch off your breath, pause, open your ribs, twist your hands around into your flex position for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, in, two, three, step back, Two, three, four, five, six. Moving the arms. In, two, three, out. Two, three, four, five, six. In, two, three, out. Two, three, four, five, six. Switch off your breath. Pause. Open your ribs and move your hands for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, in, two, three, step forward with the left, right, two, three, four, five, six, in, two, three, make sure everything's straight ahead, two, three, four, five, six, in, two, three, T, two, three, four, five, six, switch off your breath, pause, open your ribs, extend those wrists for 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, step back. Two, three, four, five, six. In, two, three, hip pinch. Two, three, four, five, six. In, two, three, out. Two, three, four, five, six. In, two, three, out, two, three, four, five, six. Switch off your breath, pause, open your ribs, curl your neck, curl your thoracic, and then come back to neutral, nice and slowly, all the way through, really feeling that length in your spine. Hold until you need to inhale. When you need to inhale here, inhale position, and exhale, shake it off. Well done, I missed a round there. I know I missed a round of arms. So this last one should be nice and calm for an eight breathing. So same thing again. Okay, how is everybody? Everybody okay there? Good, okay. So little dance point forward. Of course, we'll make it a bit complicated. Ready to inhale here. In, two, three, four, out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, four, out, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, four, out, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Slowly opening the ribs as you move your hands for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. In, two, three, four. Step forward to the left. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, four. Lengthen. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, four. T. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause, open your ribs, twist your hands round into your flexion for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. In, 2, 3, 4, step back, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
And then moving the arms up. In, two, three, four. Out, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, four. Out, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, four. Out, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Open your ribs and move your hands for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. In, 2, 3, 4, step forward to the right. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. In, 2, 3, 4, line yourself up. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. In, two, three, four, into a T. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Open your ribs, extend your wrists for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. In, two, three, four, step back. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Arms again. In, two, three, four. Out, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, four. Out, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose. Pause. Open your ribs and move your hands for 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, four, forward fold. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, four, out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, four. Out, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Open your ribs, curl your neck, curl your thoracic, then come back to neutral. So from that curl, come back into your neutral, holding your out your breath. And when you need to inhale, inhale here. And exhale, shake it all off. <laughs> I totally missed two moves out in the two earlier ones which is what made it feel a bit more frantic, I think. So we're going to come down. So that's a little routine, which is a nice quick routine you can do any time. We're going to come down onto the floor. We're going to look at split stance or a pose, because I want to talk to you about that. I'm going to have a really look at it so I can add it into poses later on. So I'm going to put a multiple amount of mats underneath my really bony, hypermobile knees. <laughs> so, so don't mind me. Um, so we're coming down into an upright knee leg position. Okay. Now, this can be used for lots of different reasons, the upright kneeling position. But tonight, we're going to look at it as a split stance. So it's helping to work on your hip flexors a bit. So this is the classic aura pose. We've got our toes curled underneath behind us. We've got a nice neutral pelvis. And usually, we'd have a little balance point forward if you can manage it, making sure they've got rib cage and your pelvis lined up. What we're going to look at is split stance. So we're going to take our left leg and we're going to take it forward. So our left knee is directly in front. So we've got a 90, 90 degree angle happening here at both knees, okay? Now, again, if you need something extra underneath your knees, please take it here, because there's quite a lot of pressure going through here. We want to feel that we're lifting our body away from the floor, though, not dumping it down onto the floor. So we've got a 90 degree angle at the front and a 90 degree angle at the back. Okay, we're gonna start with our hands in first position here. We're gonna do three nice slow breaths. Now, when we do our apnea, we're going to take our right leg is behind us. We're going to take our right hand all the way up into third position. Okay, are we ready for this? Ready to inhale. In, two, three, four, out, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, four, out, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, four, out, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Open your ribs and move your right hand up. Press it up for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale here, exhale, swap over to the other side. So exactly the same thing, we're passing through aura into our upright, into our aura, aura split stance. Okay, so hands into first. Those of you, it's the first time, I hope you're enjoying it. Gaze straight towards the horizon, ready to inhale. In, two, three, four, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, four, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, four, out, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Open your ribs and move your left hand up for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale here. Exhale, release. Shake your knees off. Give your knees a good shake off. It's quite hardcore on the knees, that pose. We're just going to do it once through tonight. So, how's everybody feeling? Refreshed, like they've been worked out. We're going to come to a sitting pose and we're going to look at some stuff in the sitting pose. They're coming down for a sitting pose. So, we have looked at a Athena, versions of Athena tonight, and we have had a look at our Freya pose, and we have had a look at our, our Aura pose, which I'm going to use in conjunction with another pose later in the week. Um, and we're going to sit now right on our sit bones, feeling them underneath us. I want you to feel here. We're going to come back to our idea of breathing. So we're going to inhale. As we inhale, I would like you to think about filling the body, your idea of your ribcage being like a vase or your body being like a vase. And I'd like you to feel the bottom of your vase first. And I'd like you to feel on the inhale that the, the vase is filling all the way up towards your sternum. Because we want to feel some sternal mobility up here when we're breathing. And then as we exhale, I'd like you to think about everything kind of drawing into the center. So it's sinking down, but our belly button's moving up. So the movement pattern on the inhale is a growing up the way, the opening of the rib cage, opening of the sternum, opening of the back. And then as we exhale, the sternum is going to close, the back's going to squeeze in, the rib cage is going to squeeze, finish squeezing close. And then we're going to think about the belly button moving up. Does that make sense to everyone? This kind of idea of a rising breath on the inhale and this closing breath on the exhale. Yep. Let's try it and you feel how it feels in your body. So I promised I would do this with you, so I'm doing it. So nice relaxed arms, ready to inhale. Take nice little breaths in, just in your own time, we're gonna kind of guide you and speak you through it. So just start your inhale, inhaling through your nose. And I'd like you to visualize filling the very bottom of your rib cage, maybe just below your rib cage. And as you finish filling that, I'd like you to start filling your sternum and your back muscles all the way up through your body. And then as you start your exhale, you want to feel like you're almost closing. So it's shutting the ribcage at the top. Your ribs come all the way up to your neck. So when I think about them closing in, ribcage closing in, and the feeling of growing taller. So each inhale, so inhale, we're opening from the bottom of the ribs, opening into our sternum, opening into the back of our body, really opening all the way around, like an umbrella opening slowly. And then as we exhale, the umbrella closes from the top first and closes all the way down to the bottom of the ribcage. Good. How are you finding that when you're doing it? Good, yes, understand what I'm saying, not confusing anybody. Good, the visualization of an umbrella opening is the best one. So if you think about your whole kind of ribcage sternal area being an umbrella. So as we inhale, it slowly opens up. And as we exhale, it slowly closes back down and gets thinner and longer. Okay, so let's do three breaths like that and then an apnea. So just nice relax through your shoulders just now, through your face. Listening to a conversation behind us, uh, we really needed to do a bit more sternal mobility, which is why I'm bringing this in as a breath system. So, ready to inhale. When you're ready. In, two, three, four, out, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, four, out, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In two, three, four, out, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause, slowly opening your ribs for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so now 
not just thinking about your chest mobility, your back mobility, I want you to think about your sit bones. So as we inhale, and we start the inhale at the bottom, I want you to think about the inhale only starting from your sitting bones. So as you inhale and your arm bone starts to open, the first thing that's opening is your sit bones, then your rib cage, then your sternum, then your back, and then as you exhale, it's gonna go back the way. Closing, 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 and then the lift is coming from your pelvic floor all the way up through your body. Okay, so we're dropping it right down. I know your lungs don't go right down there, but we're thinking about the movement of the bones. So my hands are my this is my this is now my pelvic floor. Okay, so we're thinking sit bones underneath us, feel them underneath you, ready to inhale. In two, three, four, out, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In two, three, four. Out, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In two, three, four. Out, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Slowly opening your ribs. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 